Once flight training was only for those who could access real cockpits, instructors, and expensive hardware. In the early 20th century, as technology advanced, so did simulation. By the 1980s and 90s, computers brought flight simulators into people's homes. Titles like Microsoft Flight Simulator gave aspiring aviators and curious minds a taste of real aviation from their desks. So, can a future pilot be born not in a cockpit, but in a bedroom with a gaming setup? Today, professional pilots train in motion-based, full-flight simulators with complex systems that closely replicate real aircraft behavior. But there's a shift happening. Enthusiasts and students around the world are now logging thousands of hours on hyper-realistic simulators at home, using joysticks, VR headsets, and detailed add-ons. Pilots learned by flying real aircraft, usually basic, fragile planes, with an instructor or sometimes solo. There were no simulators, so mistakes often had real consequences. Training focused on visual flying, seat-of-the-pants feel, and repetitive practice. So, do you really think that in next 20 years we will see a big change in how pilots are being trained? Because